G'day, I'm Charlie Pride and welcome to my YouTube channel, Pride of the Villages. Well, this video is titled, Meet the American Patriot. American Patriot is a headboat uh, based out of Naples. It's uh, new to the scene here in uh, Florida. Uh, just basically, I think over about a year now, they've been running trips. It uh, is a boat that fishes north of Dry Tortugas and also places like Pulley Ridge and Howl's Hook, uh, Rankin Ridge. And uh, this is a trip that I took back in uh, October. It was a three day North of the Dry Tortugas trip. So the video is going to concentrate on introducing you to the boat. It's a fantastic boat. Uh, a lot of great uh, accommodations on it. And uh, the fishing was pretty good as well. And uh, I'll show you some of the fishing videos. And I think you'll be, uh, I think you'll be impressed with this uh, boat, the American Patriot. Also make sure you stick around to the end of the video because there was an interaction when we go back to the dock between uh, one of the mates flaying the fish and a 200 pound uh, tarpon over uh, a $20 bill and a uh, uh, funny, funny thing happened and uh, I was glad to get some, uh, some footage of it. This is Kevin, someone who you'll see a lot of in this video and he's a guy that I've been fishing with offshore for about 14 years now and uh, he's a darn good fisherman. So let's meet the American Patriot. The boat is 135 feet long and 29 feet across the stern. This boat was previously named the Amberjack 5, ported out of New York City. The Amberjack 5 was part of the Coast Guard Volunteer Flotilla operation that evacuated 150,000 people out of Lower Manhattan on 9-11. So after a several million dollar reconfiguration upgrade and a renaming, I think American Patriot is a very appropriate name considering the vessel's previous history. Starting at the bow in the pulpit, this is a good spot to fish, especially if drifting on the deep drops. All the fishing spots on the rail are numbered. These big loungers are also fish boxes. There is plenty of room up the rails and storage under the benches for tackle. It's a lot of boat, boy. What's that? This is a lot of boat. Yeah, it is. A lot of boat. No. Nah. Moving to the stern of the main deck, immediately noticeable are these huge fish boxes. The boat has the capacity to hold 9,000 pounds of fish with these two boxes combined with the two in the bow. There are two live wells on the stern and on this trip the boat provided 400 to 500 pinfish. There is a machine that can produce one ton of saltwater ice per day. This is conveniently located next to the two large fish boxes. At the bait station provided was dead sardines, threadfin herring, ballyhoo, and squid. Next to the bait station is the convenient walk-in freezer for bait storage. Moving inside from the stern of the main deck, there are two heads with toilet and sink. These are flush toilets, so no pumping of handles or pedals here. Next is the galley with the chef's cooking area on one side and the prep station buffet line on the other. Then we have everyone's favorite, the ice cream machine and drink station. This area also has a fresh water ice machine and a Keurig coffee machine. For eating and lounging, there are six six-person booth seating plus this lounge area at the bow with two large screen TVs with satellite reception. This is a nice area to relax and pick up on the latest sports when the boat is moving to the next fishing spot. The fish mounts of snappers and groupers we catch is a nice touch for this galley space. The stairs leading to the lower deck are across from the buffet line. There are 36 bunks in the lower deck and these are long bunks. If you are over six feet tall you will not have to sleep in the fetal position. Plenty of room to stretch out. There are two full heads with showers. The boat can store 1,000 gallons of fresh water and makes 90 gallons of fresh water an hour. So as Captain Ralph says, take as many showers as you want. Your bunk mates will appreciate if you at least take one on the trip. The bunk room can also go to red light conditions which allows people to sleep and also be able to see where you are going. 
Moving to the top deck, which can be accessed by stairs in the stern and the bow. This is where your extra rod should be stored, and there are plenty of rod holders for that. Importantly, if a fish taking someone up the rail, you do not want spare rods in the way, so this is the place to store them. Rods and gear are transported from the parking area down the dock to the boat by these carts. Check-in occurred on the boat where you're given a wristband with your rail spot and bunk number. Also, you receive a key tag with a set of tags with a number to identify your fish caught. Once all the gear is loaded and the boat sails out of the harbor, fishermen are gathered for safety briefing covering life vests, life rafts, throw rings, etc. Also, the mates go over the process of tagging the fish, which then go into the communal icebox.
Now you do run from spot to spot and that can be anywhere from uh, 5 to 30 minutes and uh, it gives you the opportunity to uh, get a bite to eat or uh, catch a nap. Chef Mike uh, worked hard in the galley and uh, kept us fed during the trip and I'd say that the, uh, the quality of food on this, uh, on this boat is outstanding. Nick, were you calling me? Nick, what was that? What good news, everybody's rods are bending oh, I see that. into the water. Oh, it's a nice red. Red snappers, buddy. Yeah, here we go. Oh, So we finished our last drop uh, late in the evening. I think we both came close to catching the uh, overall total on an aggregate of snapper limits. And we headed for the harbor, which was about a six hour run, which everybody then uh, obviously crashed, got some sleep. And on the way back uh, in, uh, everybody got their gear uh, put up and uh, ready to get off the boat. Once we reached the dock, uh, everybody unloaded their own personal gear and the crew went ahead and started unloading the fish out of the uh, community boxes and uh, bringing it up to the landing where they had laid out uh, a bed of ice and uh, that's where all the fish gets uh, piled to uh, take some, uh, some good pictures and after that the uh, fish is handed out uh, into your large coolers based on your uh, number that was assigned at the beginning of the trip. Guys. guys, get your pictures and then please stand behind. 11. You're 7. Yep. 15. 15. Here's another one. So that brings us to the event that I talked about at the beginning of the video. Uh, when uh, Kevin and I, we had our coolers full and we took them over to the fillet table where the mates were filleting the fish. When they would flay the fish, they would take the skins and throw it into the water, which uh, had attracted a whole bunch of tarpon. And I would say these tarpon were at least six feet long and some of them going up to 200 pounds. When Kevin's fish was done, he went ahead to uh, tip the mate and his money got blown onto the ground and one of the $20 bills ended up in the water, which the tarpon thought was one of the skins and immediately swallowed it. Two seconds later, he spits it out and a second tarpon uh, does the same thing, swallows it and spits it out. 
Well, that time they uh, made it seen enough and uh, went into the water after his $20 bill. And I don't blame him because uh, those guys work hard for the money and I probably would have done the same thing. It's right out in front of you. It's right, it's right there. It's right in front of you. Yeah. Oh my God, my God. Wait a minute. The target ate the 20 and still. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Twice. That's got to be bad. That's got to be dirty money. That's got to be dirty money. I'm surprised you didn't get eaten. It's dirty now. money, man. <laughs> As far as booking with the uh, American Patriot, they have a, a great website where you can uh, book future trips. Their schedule goes out through uh, 2022. The month of January, the boat is in dry dock, but they resume their trips in February. On their website, you can find uh, a diagram with the bunk numbers and the rail spots, and you'll book your rail spot and your bunk number when you book the trip. Uh, also, they are very active on uh, Facebook and they'll post updates on their uh, trips. So hopefully you enjoyed that video, an introduction to the American Patriot. And uh, until the next video, uh, be safe out there on the water and uh, tight lines and good fishing.